Welcome to this mobility site. The video first looks. All right, what we have here is your standard Windows Mobile 6.5. This is the today screen per se, and uh, it's just like any other Windows Mobile 6.5. You can scroll up and down there, and like I showed you earlier, you can use this this uh, D-pad kind of sensor thing here. And um, you know, you've seen a Windows Mobile 6.5 demo, I'm sure. So you'll see that you can just scroll up and down through here, and some of the menus give you the option to left or right them to look at stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and show you the start menu here just like the uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 start menu you've got only three rows of icons here and um, it's pretty uh, pretty nice I mean it's just Windows Mobile 6.5 one thing that the LG has added to this though is a LG menu Oops. and uh, it's kinda interesting I don't I am having issues here once again, like I always do. Trying to do it through the viewfinder is tough getting the placement. This is, menu is kind of neat. It looks iPhone-ish. Uh, but the thing is, it's separated by categories. you got communications, multimedia, applications, and settings. But the neat thing is they scroll. You can scroll through right here. So you can have like all your icons like on one menu thing and flip through here. So anyway, while we're here and the fingerprint sensor application is right here, let's go ahead and set that up. Um, let's see here, you can set the sensitivity and the scroll speed of that sensor and how you know it operates. So uh, that's pretty cool. You can also set up the security to actually use your thumbprint, like I said, to um, activate the the phone I mean you can have it locked and in fact I'm gonna show you that right now okay we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and try to set this fingerprint scanner up to unlock it with my fingerprint just on the fly I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen I know we gotta to go to phone settings which um, LG has skinned a lot of the core functions of Windows Mobile I said this pretty basic 6.5 installation but there are some subtle differences in fact the dialer let me show you the dialer the dialer is just like the dialer with the LG Insight if you can hear that it is different let me turn that up you can hear the different sounds the different frequencies and whatnot for the uh, actual dialing so let's get back here We'll use this LG menu here, and we'll go to lock again, and we'll hit details. As you can see, neither one was turned on. Here, this application allows you to enable fingerprint, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Select, oh, enter a backup pin. Note this backup pin will not interoperate. Okay, what is that? We'll just go with the default there, six zeros. Slide your finger across the sensor. Select a finger you want to register. Oh, okay, it's wanting me to uh, use my index finger. All right, it wants the second reading and the third reading. It didn't take the third one. Please try again. And a fourth reading. Please try again. It's not liking it. Alright. No. Alright. Registration successful. So now. Okay. It wants to pick another finger. Okay, we'll just hit OK here. I think it took that. Yeah, unlock device with fingerprint sensor. So we'll hit OK and get out of there. And I'm going to turn the device off and see if it took it. Now it wants my fingerprint. Thank you, and we're in. So yeah, it was that simple. And it was would have been a lot easier had I not been looking through a viewfinder to do it. 
Okay, so, and then I showed you the fingerprint sensor settings here. Uh, next up, there's a touch feedback when you actually touch the screen. And here you can actually control all the different functions or turn it off altogether if you don't like it, which I would. Uh, then you've got sensors for your proximity sensor and all that junk. Well, not junk, but you know what I'm saying, to uh, help get you a little better there. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you is um, LG's menu. I don't know why they don't set this up by default because it's actually pretty decent. But if you go to, uh, let's see here, where was that at? I saw that earlier today. No, I forgot. Themes and wallpaper? No, that's not where I want to be. Actually, no, it was over here. Screen, home screen layout. You've got your Windows but Windows default. Then you have different old style today screen things that you're used to. But they have this LG Idols here. You click on that and it takes the Windows default away. Hit OK to get out of that. And it brings up a custom menu for LG's Expo here. It's, um, oops, we've got a little tutorial here that it could go through if we wanted to watch this. It's a pretty neat tutorial. That just came up by default when I selected this. Yeah, we're going to stop that. So here, on the top here, you have your date, some indicators about your, your connection, says we've got Bluetooth turned on and Wi-Fi. Uh, it's got an alarm set and the time. <coughs> Excuse me. Down here at the bottom, you've got the scroll menu here. Like a little quick launcher here. And there's your LG menu again. If you click on here, it brings up some settings, wireless manager, flight mode, ringtones and alerts, and it actually drops down instead of going to a different screen and I should be able to um, bring that down if I wanted to and if I want to look at themes and wallpaper it actually brings up an application for that one so we'll get out of there and then if you wanted to watch that tutorial again there's that so it's pretty neat and then just kinda like the Omnia or not the Omnia the um, what is that um, not um, Android it's got a little pop up there kinda neat so, uh, yeah, and you can flip through here. LG's also themed your contacts. That looks a little different than your standard, everyday Windows Mobile contact thing. So, I, I give LG some credit. They have done some enhancements to the software that I didn't initially see. Uh, when you hit start, you still have got this. But, anyway. So, then you've got some tools here. And for a business user or any user, Sprite Backup is essential. So it's good to see that there. Under the Games submenu here, you've got pretty much AT&T's little myriad of um, use it one time and it makes you try to pay for it kind of apps. So anyway, that is the LG Expo. Um, stay tuned. I, I know Jack Cook has one of these. And Stephen Borders will be reviewing this particular phone. It's really nice. It feels good. Real professional feeling. The keyboard is nice. And there's the landscape when you go to keyboard when you um, open the keyboard up there. And it's really a nice phone. Uh, the Pico projector, even though I don't have it to test it, seems kind of trivial to me. I know that some people in business would kind of love to have something like that to show a PowerPoint presentation. But me, man, eh, I wouldn't use it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. My name's Chris Lightness. Check out mobilitysite.com for the full review from Stephen Borders here in a couple weeks. Thanks.